let's continue chapter 5 probability distribution this session we're going to uh, consider important characteristics of the binomial distribution including center variation distribution and given a particular binomial probability distribution you can find its mean variance and then standard deviation and then we're going to emphasize on how to interpret those uh, values and understand those values so this is a binomial distribution formula for the mean. The mean equal to n is a sample size, a number of fixed sample size, or number of fixed trials, times p probability of success. And variance equal to sigma square equal to n times p times q. Q is probability of failure in one of the n trials. Standard deviation sigma equal to square root of n pq. Okay. One more time to um, keep note of those three important um, symbols n, number of fixed trials, sample size, probability of success, that's p, probability of failure, q. Now let's take a look at the range of range rule of thumbs. We use it in the previous lecture videos so maximum usual value is population mean mu plus two standard deviation minimum usual value equals population mean minus two standard deviation and any value above the maximum usual value above maximum usual value or below the minimum usual value is what we call unusual value or below the minimum usual value That is unusual value. Okay. Now let's take a look at these things. Um, Medano has a 95% recognition rate. Okay, this is P, probability of success. So P equals 95%, which is 0.95. So then we know Q must be 1 minus P. Probably the failure is complement. So 1 minus 0 0.95 becomes 0 0.05. A special focus group consists of 12 randomly selected adults. So this is sample size, number of, number of fixed trials, 12. Find the mean and standard deviation. The mean mu equal to n times p. We know n, we know p. So 12 times. 0.95. So that is turned out to be 11.4. And then this variance sigma squared is equal to n times p times q. So 12 times 0.95 times 0.05. That turned out to be. 0.57. Now, if you know the variance, you know the standard deviation. S standard deviation is the square root of NPQ. So, square root of 0.57. And uh, that's approximately 0.5. Okay. We run it through decimal place. Now we know the, the mean. Mean measures center. And standard deviation measures the variation. So this one measures center. This one measures variation. So now use range rule of thumb. Find a minimum. Maximum usual value of people who recognize McDonald's. 
again mu equal to 11.4 sigma equal 0.75 okay so now the um, maximum user value equal to mean plus two standard deviation so it's 11.4 adding two times 0.75 Turn out to be 12.9. Okay, the minimum user value. It's equal to mu, population mean minus two standard deviation. 11.4 minus 2 times 0.75 turn out to be 9.9 .9. okay so as you can see the 12 people particular group of 12 people um, you see it's between 12 which is greater than 9.9 .9, less than 12.9 so means this is usual value. This is a range for usual value. Okay. So this is usual value. That means it's that twelve people recognize the brand name McDonald's will be uh, will be usual, not be unusual. Same thing. 